Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm Sarah Sori. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can apply and care for your mink lashes so that you get the most use out of your investment. In my previous video, I shared with you 10 of the New Balance of Mink Lashes and I showed you how just luxurious yet affordable these New Balance of Mink Lashes are. If you haven't checked out my previous video where I tried on and reviewed the 10 New Balance of Mink Lashes yet, you can click the link below in the description and it'll take you straight to that video. Even if you're a first time false eyelash user, I will show you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can apply false eyelashes easily. If you know how to apply eyeliner, you can wear false eyelashes and look fabulous. Some people might tell you to start practicing with cheaper synthetic lashes before using mink lashes. But I disagree. These mink lashes have the most flexible, thin bands that it's so easy to put on. And if you're a first timer, this will be perfect for you because it's so easy. And after you put them on, these lashes will feel like they belong on you because they're so soft, light, yet luxurious. So first, this tip goes for everyone, start with your eyelashes curled. This will help your own eyelashes blend in with the mink lashes. Next, put black eyeliner on. Having black eyeliner on will help blend in your own lash line with the band. Now, to wear mascara or not, if you're dark haired like me, you don't need mascara. You don't want to put anything on your mink lashes including mascara. But if you're light haired and you're afraid that your light hair will stand out against the black mink lashes, then go ahead and use mascara on now before you put on the lashes so that you don't get the mascara actually directly onto the mink lashes. Now let's take the mink lashes out of the box. New Balance of Lashes has this cute pink strap that you can pull and easily get the box out. To take the lashes out, gently pull the corners, um, grabbing by the band. You can use tweezers if you like, you can use your fingers, uh, don't pull on the hair itself, grab the band. And gently pull the band to remove the lash from its box. And now let's try putting the eyelashes on. When I first started putting eyelashes on, well, I didn't feel comfortable doing it at all, so I asked my husband to do it for me. He did an okay job, but here's what you can do instead. If you know how to draw an eye line, you can put on fake eyelashes. I use duo glue always. This is my favorite. I also use a very cheap eyeliner brush with a very fine point to apply the glue. So if you're a very beginner and you've never tried on eyelashes before, here's how you can do it. I like to squeeze a little bit of glue onto my hand that way I can pick up the glue using the eyeliner brush and you can draw an eyeline with the glue. Try to get directly above the lash line. I'm using a glue that'll dry black. Grab your lash and apply it. You can definitely use a tweezer to get hard to reach corners like the inner corner of your eyes. All done. Let the glue dry a little bit. So if you're brand new to applying false eyelashes, try this technique. If you try this a few times, you'll get a feel for your eyes and then you'll be able to actually put the glue onto the lash and then apply it like I'm going to do now. Okay, so I'm going to apply the glue onto the lash band using the same brush. This really allows the perfect control for me to put just the right amount of glue. Uh, you really don't need too much because these bands are so thin, flexible, and they're so easy to put on. So just get the right amount of glue. And you want to wait for about 20 to 30 seconds for the glue to become a little bit tacky so that it doesn't slide around when you put it on your eye. Put it onto your lash line gently. I'm going to start by putting it on the middle, then I'll do the outer corners after. Outer corner. And inner corner. A 
all done. You can gently push on your eyelash so that it'll stick all the way through. And now taking off your mink eyelashes. Um, as I told you earlier, you don't want to get anything on your mink eyelashes to get the most use out of them. Um, you don't want to wear mascara and you don't want to put eye makeup remover on them either. Some people might tell you you can dab eye makeup remover onto a q-tip and dab it onto your lash line and it'll gently remove the glue. But honestly, on those days that you're wearing mink eyelashes, aren't you going out? You might be too tired or maybe a little bit tipsy at the end of the night and ooh, it might be hard for you to be meticulous enough to just get that q-tip and the makeup remover just onto the band. So you can just pull them off. Just be gentle with it. To take it off, grab the outer corner, grab the band and gently remove it. See how easy that was? After you take the lash off, you want to remove any excess glue that's left on the lash band. You can do this with a tweezer or you can use the tips of your fingers to gently just grab the glue. Don't grab the band, don't pull on the band. Only grab the glue and remove the glue. After you're done cleaning off the glue, put it back in your New Balance Sun protective box so that the lash will hold its shape and that dust won't collect on top of it. Good as new. Do you see the difference that these New Balance and Mink lashes make on my eyes? So don't be afraid to try them. You have all the skills and tips that you need to apply and care for your mink lashes. And when you do take good care of your mink lashes, you should be able to use them up to about 25 times. And when you get about 25 uses out of them, these mink lashes end up costing about just a dollar per wear. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, when you go to newboundsum.com, you can type in my code Sarah Soria checkout for 20% of your entire order. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And as always, you can find me on Instagram at Sarah Sori and on my blog at sarasori.com. Thank you. Bye.